You know, Patrick, maybe you can clarify something here. In, in chapter 28, verse 3, I think if read incorrectly, this could send the wrong message. For it shall come to pass in that day that the churches which are built up and not unto the Lord, when the one shall say unto the other, Behold, I, I am the Lord's, and the other shall say, I, I am the Lord's. And thus shall everyone say that hath built up churches and not unto the Lord. There could perhaps be this, this idea that there are churches there that because of their, they're not of our beliefs that they are wrong or that they're bad. What are some of the things that we've learned from prophets uh, about the, the value that all churches can, can provide in, in bringing us all to Christ? Well, I, I think this absolutely connects with what we see in the next chapter, in chapter 29, okay. where he talks about, I, I, I talk to all people, mm -hmm. I, I talk to all nations. I have here just a beautiful quote from the First Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This was a statement they made in 1978, uh, a statement called God's Love for All Mankind. And this is what they said. The great religious leaders of the world, such as Muhammad, Confucius, and the Reformers, as well as philosophers, including Socrates, Plato, and others, received a portion of God's light. Moral truths were given to them by God to enlighten whole nations and to bring a higher level of understanding to individuals. And I think that perspective is just so important, right? So sometimes we, we do, as, as you said, we, we say, oh, because other people believe a little bit differently mm -hmm. than, than us, it means that, that I'm all right and they're all wrong, or God loves me more than, than God right. loves them. And these chapters are just over and over saying, no, right. like get over yourself. <laughs> the mark of a Christian is how are you gonna treat other people? Will you love other people? Will you follow God? Because God is sending his word uh, throughout all the world. In chapter 29, verse 12, he, he emphasizes this again. Behold, I shall speak unto the Jews and they shall write it. I shall also speak unto the Nephites and they shall write it. And so that's the Bible and that's the Book of Mormon, mm -hmm. right? And I shall also speak unto all the other tribes of the house of Israel, which I've led away, and they shall write it. And I shall also speak unto all nations of the earth wow. and they shall write it. Like God just keeps talking to everybody. And, and it makes clear we, we don't have all those records or maybe we don't appreciate all those ways that God has spoken to other, those other people. I've found tremendous truth in the scriptures of other religions, mm -hmm. of other people, whether it be the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, the writings of, and teachings of Buddha, right? And the first presidency says right here, God has sent his light to all these different places. We can find light everywhere. <laughs>